Good evening, everyone. In two cities 800 kilometers apart, trials began in separate cases that had ramifications nationwide. One in Ottawa involving leaders of the so-called Freedom Convoy. We'll get to that in just a moment. But we begin in Windsor, where a 22-year-old accused of killing four individuals from three generations in one family, all Muslim, pleaded not guilty to terror-related murder charges. CTV's Adrian Gobriel leads us off. A callous crime that shook the country. June 6, 2021, five family members from London, Ontario's Muslim community are allegedly targeted for their faith while out for a walk by a young man behind the wheel of a pickup truck. Nothing could have been more tragic than this act of violence. That was Nathaniel Veltman pleaded not guilty today as the trial began with jury selection. Scheduled to last 10 weeks, the trial has been moved to Windsor, Ontario, though the reason for that decision is under a publication ban. That didn't stop Muslim leaders from gathering outside the courthouse today. It is of utmost importance that these trial proceedings act as a serious deterrence for the kind of heinous violence we saw. The now 22-year-old is facing four counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted murder in an alleged act of terrorism. The unthinkable violence that the family faced should be a marker for the entire country. Salman Afso, his wife Mediha Salman, their 15-year-old daughter Yumna and her 74-year-old grandmother Talat Afso were all killed. A young boy, now 11 years old, is the lone survivor. Islamophobia is real. Statistics Canada's most recent data shows that there were 3,360 hate crimes reported in 2021, a 27% increase from a year earlier. It is first and foremost a moment of serious soul searching for us all. What has happened to Canada? Following the deadly incident, the National Council of Canadian Muslims released a list of recommendations to fight anti-Muslim hate across the country. The association believes each level of government have yet to fulfill their commitments. As for this trial, concerns are mounting that it will re-traumatize a community still fearful for their safety. Our hope is that in the end, justice will be served. When speaking to the media, the National Council of Canadian Muslims have declined to name the accused, saying they want this trial to remain victim-centric so the public doesn't lose sight of the four family members who lost their lives. Adrian Gobriel, CTV News, Toronto.